Right, back to basics. The zero degree probe transmits sound in compression mode, which is traveling at approximately 6,000 meters per second in steel. By pressing Shift F12, we can draw on the screen. And uh, the compression wave travels in a train-like sh shunting motion with the particles moving this way and shunting backwards and forwards as, as you can imagine well the carriages may do if they were shunting. Now the angle probe that is called shear wave. The zero is called compression wave. This, uh, these angle probes are transmitting in shear wave. And here the wave is, is more of a wave. And in fact travels more like that. And it is approximately 3,000 meters per second in carbon steel. Clicking on probe and a just dangling wedge, we can change the angle <coughs> to any angle we wish. We don't have to be restricted to the four angles shown here. Now here you can see a second beam coming out of the same probe. Let me put a color-coded display, this time color-coded display for mode of propagation. Put a 60 degree probe on. Now the green color represents a shear wave propagation in the steel. Zero probe is a compression wave in the steel. Now as I take the angle away from 90, <clears throat> you can see in fact we have two waves. We have a shear wave and we have a compression wave. For angled probes, for testing wells, we normally use the angle increased to such a level that we only have the shear wave. So there we have the zero, just with compression wave, at about 6,000 meters per second, as we as we decrease the angle away from 90 we then have compression wave and the shear wave as we increase more we lose the compression wave and we're left with the useful shear wave for weld testing <coughs> 